Lesson number four on functional graphs, the line of symmetry. So I want to look at this concept, how to identify a line of symmetry. So let's first define what is a line of symmetry. A line of symmetry divides a shape into two identical parts. So it will divide our cave in this case. So we must always write down the equation of line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is an equation. So for a quadratic function, identify the maximum point if the curve is n-shaped or minimum point if the curve is u-shaped. So this is for quadratic functions only. So in the last lesson, we drew the graph in the uh, line y is equals to x in the curve y is equals to x bracket 4 minus x. So we want to identify the line of symmetry. So you can see that this is the maximum point since this is our n-shaped curve. This is the maximum point for y. So this is known as the stationary point or the maximum point of the cave. Therefore, our line of symmetry passes through the uh, maximum point or you can divide the uh, with 4 units. Therefore, it's 4 divided by 2. So, this will be our line of symmetry. So, let's draw our line of symmetry. So, I'm using a broken line here. This is our line of symmetry. This is our line of symmetry and the equation for the line of symmetry you can see that this is a straight line parallel to our axis and it's passing through the point x is equal to 2. So the equation is x is equal to 2. That's the equation of the line of symmetry. So whenever you are asked to write down the equation of the line of, of symmetry is to first identify the maximum or the minimum point for a u-shaped curve. In this case, it was an N-shaped, so this was the maximum. And draw your line of symmetry, then I write down the equation. So this is the equation. This marks the end of our lesson.